Good day, this is Alan from Wakanda Man at YouTube with the third installment of my dual build the Shadal Custom and the Z Zulu Biopunk. Today we're going to be mostly focusing on the Z Zulu, but just before that, a little something interesting. Had a um, workshop meet and I slapped this guy and painted him in about two days. It's the Airfix Churchill. And uh, he's practically almost ready besides a matte coat and some weathering, so look out for a review of him. Just a quick look at the finished Shadal. It's um, absolutely done and details quite nice. This shot will also be used for the use of Mobile Support Goods tutorial review. After the fact, it was all primed and painting has started. I'm going for a very heavy salt weathering and with uh, this sponge, I'm going to put a uh, darker metallic rust over this uh, brown so there's like a lighter brown chipping or a different layer of rust. Um, some of the red bits is going to be like a replacement part and it's the incorrect colour and it's still going to have some chipping and weathering the uh, thrusters aren't quite there and the cabling is going to have a different story and the joints miscellaneous metallic parts is um, going to have a darker grey on top with uh, salt weathering chips of black underneath like a black uh, rust that patina you see on um, oldish vintage items from the second world war now for the Z Zulu and a brief description of uh, Biopunk, uh, very similar to Steampunk, it's uh, a form of science fiction where a bunch of alien or unusual organic material grows out of control on a non-intimate object or onto a human. Um, a really good example if you want to look up artwork is the uh, Warhammer Plague Marines. It's, uh, you know, biological matter or, you know, you could say a disease or whatnot has caused their body to just mutate in ridiculous amount where you get spikes and tentacles and all sorts of things to go out of their body, which makes them practically zombie undead-like, which isn't a pre isn't required. Uh, it's uh, a very loose and easy-going term or genre, so... It's almost anything goes. You can portray it in like sea life, like mine, or alien, natural uh, mutations. It's a clean playing field and something very interesting to explore, yet very unusual in our community. So we're aware of the origin of the eyeball, which is a glass doll eye and it's been placed which originally looked very ridiculous by itself though buffed out with these uh, spikes which is many layers of a one millimeter sheet of styrene randomly chopped up and glued together they were glued to the body and then uh, two part epoxy putty aka green stuff was wrapped around and textured to make it look like growth welding itself to the steel. The uh, lower legs need to be done. Uh, a lot of work is going to be focused on this in the next week because I need to allow the paint to dry on the Shadol. Though I need to put some webbing around the feet, uh, some uh, distorted steel or more of those line marks around its body, uh, barnacles, large pimples, other deformities and then I'm going to give the whole thing an overall texture of a uh, very light sand around this um, heavily distorted piece I'm going to have like a tentacle coming out maybe some small teeth or whatnot I'm going to try to keep just the uh, face mask the pipework and the chest absolutely uh, natural and probably a Xeon decal on the chest and the rest of it is going to be extremely funky uh, light ideas on the paintwork. I'm thinking uh, gradient with stuff with the airbrush and lots of blending and 
dry brushing, playing with the textures that I'm going to create, which, funnily enough, the shadow is also going to be a blend of uh, textures, which will be played mostly with inking. Thank you for watching, and until next time.